Welcome to Corona in 5. I'm going to teach you some cool things in Corona in under 5 minutes. Today I'd like to teach you how to control the light bounce from the globe illumination from your scene that actually bleeds in everywhere. So if you've ever encountered a situation like this, so if we look at the render over here that I've got, the floor has beautiful warm tones and as you can see the global illumination is coming in from the windows, it's bouncing off the floor and it's basically populating the actual area with that color. To show you the grayscale render and the difference, have a look at that. You can see all the warm tones that are appearing on the walls and the ceiling and everything like that. So if you've ever encountered something like this, it's very easy to actually control this. I'm going to show you a couple of ways of actually doing it. The normal way that a lot of people actually do is they'll go into the post-production phase and underneath tone mapping, you can easily just change the white balance. This does work to a certain degree, but of course you're bleeding all the colors out. So what we want to do is we want to find a way that we can control this. So what we're going to use is the ray switch material. So let's come into our max let's grab a material editor and what i'm going to do is i'm going to eye drop it to the floor so this specific floor is the one that comes with corona and what we are going to do is we're going to add a ray switch material do not get confused with the ray switch map so if we scroll underneath here underneath corona we've got the corona ray switch now this is a map so make sure you're not going to use the map we want the actual material which is underneath materials corona ray switch material click drag let go now the global illumination is what is actually controlling the direction of the ray bounces or the global illumination bounces which means that is what is actually reflecting that color basically in your entire scene what i'm going to do is let's zoom this out let's get a render in the same screen and let's actually start an interactive render so you can actually see the change immediately i'm going to go back into post and just reset that you can immediately see the difference that it's done there so the first step that we need to do and this does get overlooked is make sure that you attach the corona ray switch material to the actual floor now in this instance it is the floor that is creating the additional color bounces so whatever object in your scene is causing that that must get the corona ray switch material so what we need to do now is grab the floor material i'm gonna attach it to the direct override i'm gonna attach it to the refract and the reflect slot now as you can see there's actually a huge difference already you can immediately see that the top is not catching all of those bounces and changing color. So it's a huge difference already. You can see that everything has been bled out, meaning all the colors that were bouncing off the floor, it's now a lot clearer. The only downfall of this method is that you can't really control how much you want to take away because in reality you are going to see some of those tones and colors this is what i do and what i much prefer i'm going to grab my entire material right over there holding the shift click and drag so i've basically made a copy of the material what i'm now going to do is underneath the global illumination slot i'm going to click and drag the copied material that i created i'm going to let go now immediately you can see we back to the original material with all the color that's on the ceiling and the walls. That's exactly what we want because now what we can do is we can control the amount of the light bounce that we wanna see. Now that that is copied, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into this material right over here and scroll down until you get to the base color, 100. Now what you can do now is because the way we've set it up, if I change this to let's say zero, it is now completely removing all of the color bounce, which is awesome, but remember, that is really unrealistic. What you want is a little bit of light bounce, a little bit of tone change. So if we put this at, let's say 50 and press enter, you can see a very slight change, making it look a lot better and a lot more realistic. So this is the method that I do prefer and it gives you a lot more control over the actual globe illumination bounce. If you're looking for a full Corona course, check out my link below. It's my Corona course in nine hours. I'll teach you everything that you need to know for the art of this industry.